is going on everybody? It's April. It's the end of April. I mean, I know it's Wisconsin, but it's southern Wisconsin. Give me a break. This stinks. Um, this is ridiculous. This is the latest I've ever seen snow. Um, I really wanted to have some more fishing uh, after going to Tennessee. And over the past couple weeks, I just haven't had a time to get out. Either the weather's been crummy or just honestly haven't had the time. So um, I think what we're going to do is go over some spring musky baits that I'll hopefully be using on the opener here. And uh, yeah, we'll just talk about a couple of good baits to use for spring musky fishing. But we will do that in the garage and we'll get out of this ridiculous weather. We'll see you inside. All right, now that we are back in the confines of the nice warm garage and not outside in the ridiculous April snow, let's go over a couple of good springtime musky lures in no particular order. And we'll start with a Micro Medusa. The Micro Medusa is a cool little spring bait. It has that small profile, it's easy to throw, and it runs nice and shallow uh, for those shallower springtime applications. But one cool thing you can do with it is the new deep threat weights from Cast Tackle. You know, everybody's been putting them on the, the hook hangers, which is perfect. I was playing around with putting it on the nose and it really gives the bait even more of a uh, hopping action when you put it that far forward so what you do is just you know pop it on there and uh, the leader actually holds it on the nose of the bait so that's kind of something cool you can do with any of the sizes of the deep threat weights on any of the a little off topic here but you know, even on like a Poseidon so something to think about but back to our spring baits so yes the Micro Medusa, uh, one of the larger fish I've caught uh, on the Wisconsin opener was on a Micro Medusa and it looked like this. That was a really cool fish. That was a nice fish for that time of year. Um, one other thing that you can do with the Micro Medusa is you can get these little spinnerbait attachments from Rocky Point Bait Company. I will put their information in the description below. But now you've turned your Micro Medusa into a cool little spinnerbait that got different colored blades. This is an eight blade, I believe. Um, so that is another way to sort of accessorize your micro medusa or you could use a uh, mini medusa would work on it as well actually any size medusa but since we're talking spring we we'll keep it small um so yeah that's my pick for a plastic bait move on to blades okay moving on to blade baits uh two that i like to use in the springtime are the single eight this is an esox assault ea s8 and then the one ounce esox assault spinner bait um perfect shallow water baits, uh, the single blade makes the bait ride or, uh, ride a little bit higher in the water column. Uh, these are deadly on fish that are just coming off the spawn and are still kind of hanging off up in the shallows, recuperating from the spawn and coming off, off those shallow spots. So uh, those are two good bets. And another one that I really like is the Lee Lures Boilermaker. Again, single blade blade. But, as most of you know, it's got this cool little body that really gives the bait a lot of buoyancy. You can work this thing super slow, and it came in handy. Uh, last year, uh, I was lucky enough to have my hands on one of just a few baits at the time of the mini boiler, and it got me this nice fish this year.
right, so that was cool fish. This is an awesome bait. Uh, check out the lures for the makers. So that's it for lady baits. Now, top water is not something that most people think of as a springtime bait, but believe you me, and the boys from today's angler, Lee and Robbie, know better than anybody out there, I think, uh, the usefulness of top waters in the springtime, especially the flat tail. Um, a walk the dog bait will work great, but I think the flat tail uh, for those springtime fish, you can get it up nice and shallow, work it super slow. And uh, actually, it got me a decent fish on Madison. So that was a cool topwater fish. That one was on a Worth uh, flap tail. Obviously, Chaos Tackle has a flap tail, and Lee Lures has a very good flap tail. And there's there's a ton of good flap tails out there. So, um, but those are the ones I'm familiar with. So, topwater flap tail springtime bait. That's it for that. Let's move on to live baits. This is the Shum Shum Tap Dancer, and any of you that watched today's angler, Lee was rocking this white bass guy and doing pretty good on some of those southern muskies. Uh, this is going to be a go-to glide bait for me this year. Uh, it has a nice belly roll when you're working the bait. Uh, this is definitely a pick for early season for me. And we've got a little bit of underwater footage of this bait, so take a look at what this thing can do. Last but not least, I'm going to talk about a couple baits that you don't associate with musky fishing maybe that much, but are definitely some baits you have to have for springtime. Rattle bait. Anybody that's fished Southern Reservoir, Cave Run, that sort of place. Rattle baits are king in the spring. Uh, this is actually a Berkeley War Pig. It, uh, it works really nice. A lot of times in a figure eight, a rattle bait has a tendency to get on its side. This little guy tracks pretty darn good. I believe this is the three quarter ounce size. Another bait uh, that uh, Mr. Corey Allen turned me on to down there in Tennessee is the Berkeley 5 inch Juke. This is a neat little, it's kind of like a, like a rattle bait meets a husky jerk meets a, I don't know what. It's This is a neat little bait uh, and Definitely one that I'm going to be rocking in the spring for muskies from here on out. Yeah, that's it. I think. Oh, let's not forget about the rod and reel. For throwing smaller stuff, I like a nine foot surgical strike. The cast tackle salt sticks. It is a nice light rod that can handle the light baits, but still kicks butt fighting a fish. Um, I've got it paired with a Tranks 400 HG. I like the HG because I'd rather slow down my retrieve than try to speed it up. So I like that high uh, gear ratio on the HG. And uh, yeah, so that is my arsenal as far as rod and reel goes. And that's it for this video. So I hope it was a little bit entertaining. I wanted to uh, add a little video of us catching some fish and kind of so you can see what some of the lures look like underwater. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you have any questions, leave me a comment. I appreciate them. And if you would be so kind, hit the subscribe button for us. We are creeping up towards 1,000 subscribers, so that's pretty cool. And that's it. We are on the doorstep of the muskie opener here in southern Wisconsin. It's a couple days away, uh, so I'll be using some of these baits for that opener and the weeks to come after that until it really starts warming up and we can get into some larger summer style baits. So that's it. I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching. Bye.